before we go to Native. Okay, one question each. Andrew? Thanks, Gary. Andrew Jones, ESPN, Anscape. Sasha, you were hitting the ball really well. You had your chances, and you were right in that match despite the scoreline. Do you feel that way, that it was just about him being able to play the break points and just being able to be fortunate to play good, but also maybe a little lucky on some? I was in the match the first set, yeah. I could have broken. Uh, I could have gone my way. It didn't. And then the second set, I felt something in my in my hamstring glutes. Left side, I couldn't uh, push off on my serve anymore. And uh, my serve speed, I think, was down quite a lot compared to the other days. Um, and against him, especially, I needed a good serving day. Otherwise, it would have been difficult. And, yeah, I think my biggest weapon was kind of taken away after the first set. And, then, yeah, it's it's difficult to, to even compete uh, if you don't have that. Howard, go right ahead. Uh, on that, was that something that was troubling you after that lengthy match against? No, I, I Yannick? felt I felt nothing. I felt nothing going into the match. Um, yeah, it just kind of appeared. And the problem is that it's it's really bothered me. It bothers me. It bothered me running a little bit. But the biggest problem is pushing off on my serve and. Um, yeah, I think if the serve speed goes down, percentage goes down, it's very difficult to compete with Carlos. David, all this stuff. Um, how, aside from the injury, how much did it take out of you the match against Sinner? Oh, yeah, I mean, everything, to be honest. Uh, I think we're both physically done after that match. I thought I recovered quite well. Uh, you know, just looking at the facts, I think we finished at 1.30 at night. You know, we played four hours, 40 minutes. I think for that, I recovered quite okay. Um, but, yeah, today was, uh, wasn't was enough to to be competitive. Okay. Any other questions in English? Want just one question person. Will, you have anything? Willie Weinbaum from ESPN. How would you describe Carlos's game right now and the challenge that he poses for anybody, for yourself and all the best players who are competing with him for the top of the game? Well, I mean, I played Noah in Cincinnati. I played Carlos here. I think they're very, very similar uh, from from the level of the game. There's some things that Novak does better. There's some things that Carlos does better. Um, I think they're 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 the level of their own at the moment. Um, but yeah, other guys got to catch up. That's as simple as that. Okay. How are you good? Uh, well, if I could sort of follow up on that with Carlos, he, I get that from the second set on. You weren't yourself, but early on in the first set, especially 3-3 three, three there, you had those chances. Does he uh, raise his level on those key points, uh, and did he do anything that troubled you, particularly on those break chances you had at 3 all? I remember correctly, I think we were in the rally once and I missed the back end down the line. I think maybe I shouldn't have gone for that because I was winning quite a lot of rallies till that point. Second break, break point, I don't remember, to be honest. But, uh, I mean, I don't know. Uh, it, it's tough to say because there was only a few important moments in this match, to be honest, uh, which he played well. Maybe I, I went for a wrong decision, wrong shot in a way. Um, but I, I thought I thought even though I lost the first set, I thought it was going to be a competitive match. I thought uh, my level was there. I thought his level was there. I thought it was going to be a fun one. And then uh, I think first the second game, I think first game already in the second set, I felt something wrong. And then I didn't give up, but there's there's very little you, you can do in a way against Carlos. Then. What made you not call for the trainer? Did you want to call for the trainer in the third set? No, I hate calling the trainer. I think it's... Uh, for me, a lot of players do it to disrupt the rhythm. For me, a lot of players do it for the wrong reasons, and I, I just, I just hate it because at the end of the day, you call the trainer. But if you, I don't know what I have, right? But if you have a muscle tear, or if you have a, you know, something wrong, what the hell is he gonna do in three minutes? You know, 
it's not he's he's not going to heal it in three minutes. That's not going to happen. I think a trainer is is good for maybe taping, retaping your ankles, maybe taping something else. But at the end of the day, you know, I came to the locker room. He he pushed it a little bit. He he felt that something is wrong. He told me that you know it might be a small tear, but obviously I don't know. So don't say that I lost because of a tear. Um, but in the end of the day, it's not going to go away, especially if you go out there and have to sprint for drop shots, uh, you know, three minutes later. So uh, for me, yeah, I'm, I'm not that type of player. I don't like it. I don't like when other players do it. So I, I really leave it till, till the last moment, kind of. Okay. Native, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.